These spelling lessons are produced for non-profit purposes out of love for Jesus Christ. These spelling lessons focus on spelling. However, they cover all the same spelling rules that are covered in the phonics lessons, just at a much faster pace. So, if they move too fast for you, you may need to watch through the phonics lessons instead. You'll get all the same spelling information. Also, if you need more help with reading or phonics, it would be best to start with the phonics lessons. This first spelling lesson, we're just going to look at words and syllables that have a short vowel. We'll first review the sounds of the short vowels. And this is a mark for a short vowel. A, E, E, A, A. We'll also look at a rule. Syllables and words that end in a consonant will have their short sound, and Y will have its sound of I. So these syllables will be at, et, it, ot, at, it. Try these. Ap, ep, ip, op, up, ip. Y acting as an I. In native English words, Q is always followed by a U, and it will have its qu sound, as in these words. Some words in Latin and French origin it will have a q sound. There are only few words in English that a Q is not followed by a U. Here we're going to look at a couple spelling rules that apply to short words. Because they end in the consonant, they will have their short vowel sound. The q sound at the end of a short one-syllable word is usually spelled with a CK. And F, L, and S usually double in short vowel one-syllable words. Those were a few examples. Now you try to spell some words with these rules in mind. Sell, big, rock, loss. If you tried to sell a big rock, you may have to sell it at a loss. Sell, big, rock. Loss. Here they are. The S and L are doubled because F, L, and S usually double at the end of short one syllable words, and the CK is spelled with a CK normally at the end of short one syllable words. One syllable short vowel words that do not end in F, L, or S usually do not double. However, there are some exceptions. And these are some exceptions that are main idea words. In English, function words like the N with a single N can be short, but main idea words are usually at least three letters long. And so all these words have an extra consonant ad added to them to show that they are main idea words and that they are important. Now we're going to talk about the schwa. English is a heavily accented and stressed language, and the schwa is very important in English words. It is usually shown like this in a dictionary, as an upside-down E. However, it actually does have a sound. Usually the sound is shown like here, a short a, uh, as in what. And O's and A's, as shown in this word, coming up here, are most likely to schwa towards the sound of uh. E's will also sometimes schwi to the sound of i. However, the vowel does not always schwa all the way towards uh or i. It can sometimes retain a bit of its sound. And also, you may want to keep a bit of its sound in your head for spelling purposes so that you'll know what vowel to use when spelling it. Here is our first syllable division rule. If you have two consonants together, you will divide between the consonants. Look at these words here and try to figure out where to divide. Remember that you're dividing between the two consonants. Here they are divided, and the syllables that end in a consonant will be short. Consonant pairs are another very important concept to understand for English spelling. Consonant pairs are pairs of consonants that are produced with the mouth 
and tongue and everything in the same position, just one is voiced and the other is unvoiced. According to Margaret Bishop in the ABCs and all their tricks on page 48, a consonant sound is unvoiced when the voice is not used at all in producing the sound and only the breath is used. When it is voiced, you use your voice to produce the sound. Look at how similar these sounds are. Compare these words. Bat, pat. Dan, tan. Junk, chunk. Many people do not even realize that TH has two different sounds, one voiced and one unvoiced. Look and listen to the difference. Bat, thin. Than, thick. Here is the last group of consonant pairs. Wit, when, zip, sip. That, thick, j, sh, like in vision and ship. Several different letters can make the sound of j. In the word of, O is schwa to a, uh, and F has its consonant pair sound of V, V. Many words ending in a single S have S with its consonant pair sound of Z, Z. This also happens in words ending with S, E. Here's a spelling rule for making words plural. Words that end in a hissing sound will add E, S. Words that end in a non-hissing sound, we'll just add S. Here are some examples of words that end with a hissing sound, and they have an ES with S as its consonant pair sound of Z. Words that don't end in a hissing sound, will just add an S. This S can either have its normal S sound or its consonant pair sound of Z, Z. Words with a consonant before it voiced will have S as a Z, Z. Unvoiced before the S will have a regular S sound. In words ending in NK, N has a ng sound. This slightly alters the sound of the vowel. Bank, rank, pink, honk, funk. This also happens in words ending in NG. Sang, rang, bong, pong, rung. And in the ending ing, thing, ring, bring, sing, wing. The ch sound at the end of short words is often spelled tch, like in watch, etch, or itch. However, in some common words it is just spelled ch, like in rich or much. Also, consonants that combine to make a sound like this, or nk or ng, will not divide. Now, we'll look at some different rules about the cuss sound all together. When the cuss sound is at the end of a short word, it will normally be spelled CK. When it's with another consonant before the cuss sound, it's normally spelled with a single K. And at the end of long words, the cuss sound is usually spelled with a single C. Now, spell three words based on this rule. Black, sunk, and haptic. The color black and the ship sunk. And haptic. Haptic. Haptic means relating to touch or tactile. Haptic. Here they are. A single cut in a short word CK, after a consonant in a short word single K, and in a long word at the end single C. Words of Greek origin will not have a letter F. The F sound in Greek is spelled with a PH. And Greek words CH together has a K sound, like in these words. C says S before E, I, and Y. And C will have a K sound before all other letters, which are the vowels A, O, U, and any consonant. Of the 17,000 most common words in English, only 40 have the 
K sound spelled with a K before A, O, U, or a consonant. And, according to Margaret Bishop in the ABCs and all their tricks, these are all words of foreign origin, like kangaroo. G will have a J sound before E, I, and Y. And, like C, it will have its hard sound before A, O, U, and any consonant, its G sound. However, unlike C, there are some exceptions for G. In a few words, it will have its G sound before E, I, or Y. And some of these are fairly common words, like get and girl. These words show how the difference between the sounds of G and C can make a big difference with just one letter change. Giblets, goblets, Cyst, cast, cost. Gist, gust. Cinch, conch. Now, a syllable division rule. You'll divide before and after consonant blends. You'll divide after the blend and between the blend and the consonant in these two words. The first word after the blend MP and the second word after the blend ND. Here, in the second word, you will divide between two groups of blends and there will be a blend on each side of the division. Fondness, transgress. Here are some nonsense words. If they are at all hard to sound out, you should watch through the phonics lessons. They will help you figure them out. Try to figure out how to divide them. In the next spot, I'll show how they are divided, and then you try to read them. Add Tim, Insip, Mab Tigmic, Tog Matfit. Now try to divide and then sound out these. There will be some blends this time to divide between. Impret, top spat, abstunt lick, unspentist. As we read through the book of James, look for these colors highlighting the things that we have covered. Schwad vowels will be read, and consonants with their consonant pair sound will be read as well. CHSK will be purple and soft C and G will be blue. Also, the syllables and words containing a short vowel are underlined. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, 
nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive any thing of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth, so also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world.